Flooding is the most common and most costly natural disaster because more people are living in the floodplains. Floodplains are low-lying areas along rivers and streams that are normally dry, but can occasionally flood. While flooding can be costly, we can work together to prevent its negative impacts by using the floodplains as a community asset. That means using the floodplains for water, open spaces, parks, and trails. Using the floodplains as a community asset will create beautiful places near which people want to live and work. It will save the community money, as well as protect businesses, people, and their homes. Join us to use floodplains as a community asset. We can all work together to use the floodplains as a community asset. Local governments want development because it brings jobs and taxes to help their communities grow and thrive. But wise use of the floodplains can create jobs and boost the local economy too. For example, Denver, Colorado is set to develop the South Platte River Corridor to include retail and residential development, as well as open spaces and parks. Over the next 20 years, this is expected to generate 22,000 jobs, $550 million in additional economic benefit to Denver residents and businesses, and up to $4.3 million annually in the new revenue for the city. And in Texas, the San Antonio River has experienced flooding for centuries. But with the public's support, San Antonio is working on a plan to restore historic and natural resources, promote economic development, and provide the community with a resource they can access and use. It was a very pleasant surprise, and it's one of the most incredible things I've seen in my life, actually, to see what, what, what looked like a drainage ditch suddenly become a really nice city park, and it's just a block away from home. By wise use of floodplains, local governments can create communities where people want to live and keep people safe from the impacts of flooding. It makes sense for local governments to use floodplains as a community asset. Join us. Developers can use the floodplains wisely and continue their businesses' success. Wise use of the floodplains helps developers have lower construction, operation, and maintenance costs. For example, Outside of Chicago, Prairie Crossing included 350 acres of open space for farms, wetlands, and parks, saving $1 million in infrastructure costs through smart design. Wise use of the floodplains also helps developers make more money and better market their development to residents and businesses. In Charlotte, North Carolina, developers found massive success in marketing their mixed-use project near the Little Sugar Creek Greenway. The 15-mile long greenway attracted residents and businesses to the area. The Metropolitan Luxury Condo development next to the greenway sold to investors for $94.5 million. It makes sense for developers to use floodplains as a community asset. Join us.